Hello YouTube, Jeff the Fifth Guy here, welcome back to a new episode of the Fiorentina Grey Mod. Yes, that is right, we are going to be starting Season 3 of the Fiorentina Grey Mod. Uh, I did have different audio for this video, but because my microphone doesn't actually want to work, we're doing a voiceover. For some reason the microphone works for the voiceover though, hopefully. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, as you can see here, we are going in to sign Joshua Wagnerman. We pay his release clause. We are needing a new fullback because Acuna, uh, the Argentinian left wing left back that we bought from Spartan Lisbon, is getting old and we will eventually need a backup. So we go ahead and try and sign him on a sporadic contract. He accepts that. We get him on a four-year contract, which is good enough in my opinion. So guys, uh, I hope you're not too disappointed that we uh, are carrying on with the Fiorentina career mode. I just don't see the point in starting a different one. Seems so we haven't won any trophies on this career mode yet. So, Bagnerman is a successful signing. Next, the next, next position that I want to sign was a centre back. So we have a look at a few centre backs that's in the uh, transfer hub, but a lot of them are very expensive. But then we find this Lusumi, Colombian, 22 years of age, 78 rated. He looks very good, I have to say. Uh, 22 years of age means that he's got some good growth in him, hopefully. And we are needing a new centre-back because Chris Smallman, even though he's been doing very well for us in the Syria and is like partly the reason we finished so high up in the Syria, he is getting old, which means his overall will start decreasing this season. So we go ahead and offer 10 million, B1, nearly 12 million. We decide, let's offer them 11 million. They accept that, and I think that's quite a bargain. This is before we actually get into season three as well. So these are all sort of pre contract transfers, although we're not getting them on, free, on a free, they'll arrive in season three. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, we have a look at the stats there. Very average stats for now, but he's quite a pacey centre back in my opinion. 70 pace for a centre back in career mode is okay in my opinion. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this guy. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you've actually tried him before. We try and get him on a rotation, rotational contract, but he desperately wants an important one, so we just go for the important after all. Uh, I can see me Elgato playing off a bit right now. Uh, it's quite disappointing because maybe I can't really buy a new Elgato because I have zero income. I am looking for a job, but uh, right now. I just can't afford anything at the moment. Um, but yeah, we buy, we successfully buy Lusumi there. Uh, very good sign. We, we're about to go through, like, who won what. Juventus won Serie A. Juventus also won the Copa Nationale. We went out to Lazio, as you saw there. And as you've seen in the previous video, because we did... We did play that video, uh, play that match whilst recording. Champions League final is for Russia Dortmund versus Liverpool. Uh, so Liverpool is still quite good, as you can see. We'll be uh, versing the likes of Liverpool next season. Same as though we finished in Champions League position. Uh, as you well know by now, that we got knocked out by Barcelona. In the Europa League in the quarter finals, but as you saw there, Barcelona are in the finals, and likelihood is they will win the Europa League. So we got knocked out by the winners, which is okay in my opinion. 
it's well it means that we came up against the best team out of all of the tournament. I mean we did we did well. We we beat a few good teams. We uh beat the likes of Monaco, the likes of Sevilla. So yeah, we did pretty well for what it's worth. But yeah, we just got unfortunate and came up against the likes of Barcelona, which is an insane team. I mean, Messi's still overpowered. They have Milinkovic Savic as well, I think. So yeah, it's a pretty overpowered team. Uh, but yeah, we simulate on a bit to actually find the results of the Europa League final and the Champions League final. Everyone's after Dykes. We're not accepting it though because he is a great backup right back. And now that uh, now that we've signed that Lusumi, I was going to move Pavard into the middle, but uh, we're just going to move Pavard into right back once that Lusumi arrives. We get a new scout report. And we find Archie Richardson, who has a very good value and a very good potential. So we have a look at the other youth scout report, and it's not very good from Uruguay. Uh, yeah, it's not the best, I must say. But um, we go ahead and go in our youth academy, and we have a look at this Archie Richardson and we instantly sign him up because I think he's going to be the next Jamie Sancho. I know Jamie Sancho is young himself but we found our own Jamie Sancho. Five star weak foot and four star skills. So uh, I thought he had five star skills and four star weak foot but yeah so he's not actually really the next Jamie Sancho because James Sancho is a skiller. So he's he's more like the next um who are we saying he's more like he's a winner, he's got a five star week for maybe John Barnes, something like that. He he looks very good, I have to say. He looks very overpowered. And he's going to be a great backup for this next season. Uh, I must add that he's got high low work rates as well, which is really good for a youth youth academy player because it means that they get involved with the attack and scoring goals means more growth and assists. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with him. But we're nearing the end of this video. We go ahead and simulate our last training drills of the season. And then I think are we going to have a look at the Champions League final? Oh, no. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and few players return from law loan there and yeah guys i will see you in the next video thanks for